Hi there, I'm Denver 7's Lisa Hidalgo, the morning meteorologist at Denver 7. And I know this year Colorado Day is going to look a lot different than years past, uh, but we're still very proud of our amazing state. We want to celebrate its birthday on August 1st. So we're going to read some books. That's what we did that day, and we're going to do it here just well from the comfort of my home. The book we're going to read is C for Colorado. This is a great book for young kids. It goes through the alphabet and all the fun stuff that's happening in our state. All right, you ready? A is for Aspen. Aspen trees turn golden yellow. The breeze through their leaves is warm and mellow. B is for Boulder. Boulder is a mountain town, perfect for riding your bike around. C is for camping. Sleeping under the gorgeous stars, getting away from the loud, noisy cars. D is for Denver. Our Mile High City has a beautiful view and there is so much to see and do. E is for Estes Park. I saw the haunted hotel and skipped stones in the lake. The leaves were all changing. There were even snowflakes. F is for Fourteeners. If you climb one of these mountains so high, it might feel like you can touch the sky. G is for Garden of the Gods. Kissing camels, Siamese twins, balance rock all alone. These forms and more are found in this garden of stone. H is for Colorado hair streak. This butterfly is the insect of our state. When they hatch each spring, I can hardly wait. I is for indigenous people. Many native peoples call this home, the land where buffalo used to roam. J is for jalapenos. These red and green peppers are spicy and hot, but if you eat one whole, you wish, you'll wish you had not. K is for kayaking. When you feel excitement lacking, it must be time to go kayaking. L is for lark bunting. Our state bird is known for its song. I can listen to it sing all day long. N is for mule deer. Mule deer use their big ears to hear so they can escape when trouble is near. N is for silver nuggets. Silver nuggets can be found deep in the mountains underground. O is for the Old West. The Old West is where the cowboys roamed. Some moved around, some stayed in their homes. P is for prairie dog. Prairie dogs on guard until day's end. They let out a chirp to warn their friends. Q is for quilt. Patch by patch, you tell of days gone by and you keep me warm in the middle of the night. R is for railroad. The iron horse used to be powered by steam, bringing folks here from the east to find their dream. S is for snowboarding. In the mountains, you can zoom down a hill. It's winter and freezing, but still, it's a thrill. T is for Telluride. When you're in Telluride, you will be seeing a whole lot of people skiing. U is for unpredictable weather. As a meteorologist, I can attest to this one. Crazy weather from storms to mild. If you don't like it, just wait for a while. V is for Vail. If you go and check out Vail, be sure to explore all their ski trails. W is for wildflower. They make food from their leaves and they get water through their stems. The Columbine is our state gem. X is for extreme sports, kayak, heliski, rappel. It's what Colorado's all about. When you visit, you can try them out. Y is for Yule marble. Yule marble is found far and wide. Look closely, there's a sculpture waiting inside. Z is for Zebulon Pike. We also know it as Pike's Peak. If you climb it, you may feel weak. All of these awesome places across our state, hoping you're able to get to some of those this summer. And again, happy birthday, Colorado.